took that girl out of that setting and put her into a room with the kinds of people we have here, I, I would have read every book. I would have asked every question. I would have done everything I was asked to do. I wouldn't have, you know, fought it at all. I know I would have brought a lot of it back to my high school and all of it back to my high school in a way that I, I can't even really get my head around um, because my peers were so enthusiastic. And so I show up and I'm like, have you heard about this guy, Grotowski? And they're like, no. And I'm like, here you go. And then all of a sudden they all know about this and it just grows and grows and grows because we're all thrilled. Um, but we're all, you know, sort of searching in a way in the way you do when you're 16, when you've, when you've found something that really, really gets you excited. someone feel a certain way. That's what makes theater for everyone. Because all of these different people, the diversity, we all come together and create this amazing production. Whatever you learn in theater, I think that you can use it outside of theater. So um, learning to work with others, um, being able to communicate, it's not everybody communicates the same way. Um, so those are the kinds of things from Egg that I'm thinking that I want to take back to my school. I'm excited to use my skills, using leadership skills and using theater skills. And in my life in general, I think that I'm going to carry that strength and those skills onto productions I do. And I hope to do work with nonprofits, um, bringing theater to people who are less fortunate. My expectation out of this program is that um, I'm going to come out of it much more well-rounded with my knowledge of how to do things besides acting and even more playwriting and directing and all of those things. Ultimately, it could help people so much, which is what I want to do. I plan to go to college for social work. And I think having a theater for young people where um, representation matters and having a creative outlet where everyone is valued as a person and as an artist. So ultimately, I would love to have a theater for young people. Space, hardcore curriculum. I was trained as a, as a turn of the century scenic artist. Took that information and went to a much more contemporary graduate program that really taught uh, semiotics and visual communication. So unlike a lot of designers, I start with theory with a whole lot of research and a whole lot of ideas. Reimagining what the art looks like and how it works and where its place is, I think is the future, is the longevity of it. The most exciting part of the program was uh, the first show we put on, Let Us Go Out Into the Starry Night. Um, that was the first time I'd ever directed anything. And it, when we ran tech, that was the first tech that I was like in charge of. 
and it was so exciting to be able to kind of express what I wanted my vision to be and then to see it just come to life during that tech and having this moment at the end with the lights on my actors and just like gasping and being like, oh my God. I want to give them a set of tools that they can use to crack into play analysis to be able to open up a script and think about it for themselves. I have a PhD in theater studies, which is the academic or scholarly side of the theater world, which includes theater history, play analysis, dramaturgy, research, critical theory. The instructors have been so good about not only letting us go out and just do what we need to do and make the mistakes that we're going to make, but they're also very good about telling us, okay, that was good, but here's how we can make it better. I hope that not only do they learn how to be a stage manager in a normal sense, but I also want to give them the skills of how to have any sort of job in the theater or outside of it. We're going to focus a lot on professionalism, how to market yourself, which is important for them as young artists. The girls that came into the program were knew that they liked theater and they knew that they liked being on stage or liked going to plays, but they learned something about the guts of it. And it's hard to not feel empowered when you can see into the pieces that are required in order to make a machine go. And so with that sort of added mechanical information, their confidence just like grew and grew and grew and grew and grew. I have a, a very hard time communicating with people and collaborating with people and I was, uh, it was imperative that I do that. So it was a struggle for me but it was absolutely valuable because it's a skill that you need to have in anything that you do. Yeah, I think the girls are ready to go out and try this on their own, you know. Uh, that really is the true test of how you are a theater artist as you go out and try things. Um, you know, here at A, we've given them kind of the base level of information. Uh, and so the really only, the only way for them to learn more about themselves and to learn more about the art of theater and the art of whatever they want to do is to try it. They can fail more times, that's truly okay. Um, and if they succeed, that's even better. Learning like the little tricks, like instead of saying don't, you could say maybe let's try this and just rephrasing it. It makes you think in a new way as a director. With set design I learned that you can use yourself and what you know to find what you need and make it happen. Even if you only have 36 hours and $20, it taught me what to do instead of just kind of breaking down and freaking out. I learned how to manage that and what I do with that time and that money and how I make everything happen. I'm really excited to um, to put on a show with um, all the skills that I've learned with Egg and to bring, bring theater um, to my school. I think not only it'll be uh, an experience for the people involved but also for the people who get to see it and I think it's going to be something but a little bit revolutionary for my school because um, there's a lack of, of arts and a lack of appreciation for it. So if I could, you know, plant the seed for that, that would be awesome. I feel like I can sit down and be like, this is my idea, this is why I would like to do it, and let's do it. I definitely still have a lot to learn, but I feel like I'm ready.